what up y'all it's james with p2f fighting check out my channel on youtube so we have a question from jay smith how does kyushu or pressure point fighting actually perform in combat or competition and competition all right jay smith today's your day All right, so you want to know how does Kyushu or pressure point fighting perform in combat or competition? All right, Jay, it doesn't. <laughs> the short answer is it doesn't. Uh, this would be very close to Aikido, which I smash one constantly. So um, pressure point fighting, it is a thing. But because it's so precise, you got to be so precise when you're hitting, you know, when you're hitting specific nerves and you're trying to hit a nerve to knock somebody out or, you know, hit a nerve to, you know, put somebody down. Unless you have, I don't know, unteen years of training or the person just moves the perfect way for you to, to hit them in the right spot, it's probably not going to happen. <clears throat> uh, trying to trying to hit in combat, you need someone to be still or just move in a perfect, perfect scenario that you've probably practiced in step sparring a million times. So you're trying to hit a moving target. That's not good. Uh, when you, when you practice Q show, uh, you probably practice with somebody standing and then you're hitting and they stand and then you hit or you block and then you hit and then you block and then you hit or something like that. It's, there's no way that you're hitting somebody full out. Now the teacher might, the teacher might give you an example and they have a student and they pop up and he falls out and they massage him back awake. That could happen because they're a master so they can do that. But <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend you trying to do that in combat now in competition i've never seen pressure point fighting as a competition so i really are, am not qualified to answer that i've been to a hundreds of tournaments in my time uh, i've seen pressure point fighting as a demonstration at tournaments like before the tournament starts, they'll have some guy standing there with people around him, and he'll hit them all, ah, knock them down, bam, 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 you know, as a as a uh, demonstration just to get the crowd going before the tournament starts, but or as a kata, you know, or something like that. But as far as actually competing, never seen it. I've never even heard. I'm sure there's something out there underground or something, but I've never even heard of our pressure point competition. And I know that in the competitions I was in, you couldn't hit pressure points as a legal strike uh, in combat. Plus, anyway, when you're fighting, you're usually wearing gloves, headgear, footgear. So you can't even hit those spots because, like, if you hit uh, a stomach nine or triple warmer 23 or, or, or something like that, you can't hit these spots without uh, without being precise. Like you got to be precise to hit, but you're wearing a helmet, so you can't do that. Or even if you're not wearing a helmet, the other guy's wearing gloves, so that cushion is not going to work. Uh, and you can't hit the neck with big gloves on. It's not going to do the job for you. So um, like in boxing, yeah, you can hit the temple. A lot of people get knocked out getting hit behind the ear or getting hit in the temple. So that works. But so like it's not 100% out of, out of the realm. But um, and like when you do lower leg kicks, you're hitting nerves. So those lower leg kicks, you're not breaking muscle, you're hitting nerve. So that is a pressure point in a way. Um, and I know in UFC, I'm not sure if they still do it, but you used to be able to stomp on the feet, which is another nerve you're hitting. So it's not 100% not useful, but for what I feel like you're asking, you know, it's not a whole competition thing either. And, and uh, in combat, you're trying to hit a moving target. It's hard to hit a pressure point perfectly where it's going to drop a person unless you throw the first strike and it's that strike right away and you're and they're not really moving. Then you might get them or once you've got them down and mobilized and then you're using 
using joint manipulation or some kind of pressure point to keep them immobilized so you can pick them up and move them somewhere without a struggle that works too but as a whole it's not that useful so that's my advice like and subscribe holla at your boy